Rath, and today I'm on the job down here in beautiful downtown Austin. But I feel like I'm about to see my hometown from a different point of view today. Now, Aaron, Hello. come tell me what we're going to do today. We're going to be getting in this manhole and pump out some nasty water and do some voltage checks so fantastic nasty water explain nasty water. i mean we're downtown it's so beautiful all these old buildings what could possibly That's go wrong down there fruit flies <laughs> grease maybe a little beer maybe a few other things that i won't say but oh i we bet we're about to it. find out aren't we <laughs> oh yeah you're about to get a whole world of it fantastic so what is the first thing that i need to do well we need to get on our fr shirts and our rubber boots and hard hats and get to pumping. FR. Fire resistant. Okay, so fire. Uh, there's a po possible of an explosion in there. Fantastic. We just gotta be safe. Great, so. safety. safety. Safety first. Key. Okay, so wardrobe, wardrobe, let's go. Okay, what a fancy wardrobe station. All right, so first of all, I'm assuming I need some cute rubber, yellow rubber boots. That's right. Okay. Do you tuck your jeans in the boots? I would. Oh. Gonna be good, isn't it? Okay. Fit like a charm. These are actually pretty comfortable. I might start wearing these when I come down to 6th Street. Yeah, they're decorative. They are decorative. Okay. Okay, I've got my rubber boots on. What's this? That's your FR shirt. My that's, FR. That's gonna keep you from burning up. Okay, that's good. I like that. I like that idea. It's a novel concept. Tell me, Aaron, what are we going to do now? Uh, we're going to have a tailboard. We have a tailboard before every job just to kind of go over what the hazards are, what we're going to be doing for the day, any other potential hazards that could arise. I'm going to go over it with the whole crew, and then once we go over it and everybody's on the same page, we'll get started. Okay. All right. Let's do this. All right. Today, we're going to be working right here at this manhole. I want everybody to know we're at five and a half Trinity. We'll be doing some voltage readings. I want y'all to watch for a Pedestrians, flips, trips, and falls. Be careful what you're around. Things are hot. Long sleeve shirts, safety glasses, hard hats uh, are a must. If you're going in the hole, remove your vests. Everybody cool? Yep. Cool. All right. All right. All right, we'll get to work. All right, so what we got here is, is an air monitor and what we're gonna do is have you stick this hose right down here through the hole and do an air check. Okay. Before we pop that hole, we always check the air to make sure there's no explosive gases in there or, and that it's got good oxygen levels before we even open it, okay? Good oxygen is good. Yes, good okay. oxygen is good. So if you wanna take that air monitor sure. and that hose. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna do a good job. Okay, good. All right, so if you stick it right there in that hole. Okay. And what we're doing is we're going to make sure that we've got good oxygen levels and our other levels don't come up. As you see, we got zero on carbon monoxide. Our H2S is at zero parts per million and our oxygen is at 20.9. That's good. I'm sure that all means something. That all means it's good. Good. All right. All right. So, so go, go? you can go ahead and pull that hose out and we'll get our guardrail set up and get that hole popped and start pumping. This is a filter. A filter? Yeah, so what we're gonna do is this filter, after water goes through it, it's clean enough to drink. So we're gonna get a cup out and let you check it out. No, I'm good. I think this manhole is They're not safe for us to go into. So I appreciate you guys showing me your job, but I, I'm gonna deem this unfit and unsafe. Because <laughs> that is You're not the committed. most awful smell I've ever So you're not, not getting in there? I am committed. committed. I am committed. You getting in? You're not Why committed. Why do we need to get in you're there? I think y'all are I doing a fine you. job. We, we need you a jumpsuit. A jumpsuit? 
It won't cover your nose. Every <laughs> it won't cover your nose. No, I could never get used to that. Just get happy that it's wintertime. What? Oh my gosh, I bet it's disgusting in summertime. 110 degrees, maybe 120 in the hole. It starts to cook a little. It permeates a little bit out of the hole. That'll burn your nose hair. <laughs> like my eyes are watering. How do you think Aaron That's Andrews so made it on ESPN? You Good know what? Man. She didn't do this. Commit. No, you don't know what she did. At one point she probably did. Walk she had to be in Guy's locker room. Yeah, true story. I was holding my breath when I did that though. You get the worst poopy diaper you can imagine. And then I'm not breathing it in. And then throw some like mold and stale beer into the poopy diaper and then put your face in it. That's what it smells like. Well, I guess part of being on the job means I have to roll my sleeves up and get dirty, but I'm not going to do that without putting this big, nice, protective. Huge, awkward jumpsuit on first. How do I even get in this thing? Ooh, I have to take someone's stuff. I feel like the Michelin man. I feel like that girl on the big blueberry, the girl on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. This is commitment. Never held back before. Why the I'm still gonna be able to climb. What do you need to do that for? I can't even move. Other leg. Are you kidding me? I can't even like move. Do this like every single day. I don't know what I look Chuck like right now, but it is not sexy. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Yeah, it's not, it's about foot deep. Like the top of your foot. Okay, one more step, you're gonna be stepping on the floor. Okay, now come over here behind me. Come behind me. Okay, that's good, I don't wanna get that. Okay, watch behind you, that's hot. Go this way. Watch your back. Where you want it, Aaron? Just straight up right there, dude. Hold it? No, get it out, take it. Okay. What are we doing? All right, we're going to take a voltage check right here on this. Okay. I'm going to need some rubber gloves, please. We're going to make a quick voltage check today. We don't have to spend a whole lot of time in the hole. We're just checking to make sure our voltage is good at this hole. Normally, we've spliced in here, spent three, four, five hours in these holes. But today, it's going to be a pretty quick trip. Okay. Actually, what do you think about it down here? I think um, I am petrified out of my mind right now. <laughs> okay, I'll just let you all know. These circuits right here have 12,500 volts on them. This up here is all 216 volts. This is what feeds the, the a lot of the buildings down 6th Street. I'm just gonna take a quick load check. My rubber gloves here, they're good for 10,000 volts. We just occasionally take volt checks. We wanna make sure our customers are getting good voltage. That, uh, the ones that are all a lot of, well, a lot of these bars on 6th Street are fed off of what we call the grid here. And as you see, there's several cables going in and out of, this is a body. Okay. So it's, it's basically a network. It goes all different directions out of here. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to find a neutral. I'm gonna try to go right here off of this. Turn the light on so we can see. You see that? What we wanna see is about 125, somewhere in that area. So you see we got 125, I'm at 126. That's good voltage right there. We have two more phases to check. Let me know what it says and I'll let you, I'll, I'll ask you when, okay? What you got? 126.0. That's good. What do you got there? 125.4. Good. And what? 123.9. 123.9, so we've got good voltage here. Good voltage. We got good voltage here, guys. Good voltage, everyone. Great oxygen, too. All right, so I'm gonna. Hey, Ashley, what was the voltage? It was 120, 3.9, 124.7, and blue 42. Down said hut hut. <laughs> uh, you're a trooper. You guys are great. <laughs> Looks like our 
our job here is done. And while it wasn't a clean one, it certainly was interesting. I really appreciate Aaron and the crew here for helping me out and letting me join them today. It really does take all kinds of heroes to make our city of Austin tick. Like Austin Energy, they're the ones that keep the lights on. So I'm gonna go take 18 showers now and I'll see you next time on the job. I'm dreaming.